roadmap. Hi, I'm Julia. Hi, I'm Danny. And today we're going to talk about Mars in a Box. This is experiment number four, heating up the atmosphere. So here we're going to need a couple of bee bottles and a small pet bottle that we are going to recycle, some baking soda and some very soft acid as vinegar you may use, for example, one of these transparent tubes, two kitchen thermometers, scissors and some water. So what do we do next? Well, first of all, you have to prepare a reaction into the bottle. So please put the baking soda in the bottle. Now you can put some water inside. Okay, that's enough. And then try to put the acid, the other powder, on this napkin. Roll it up. In preparation for this moment, we have to make some hole on the cap of the bottle just to put the plastic tube through. Okay, I'm ready. So you put that inside, I screw the cap. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Nice. You screw it immediately and you take one of the big bottles and put the other end into the bottle. Okay. And now we shake it. The chemical reaction is happening and some carbon dioxide is being produced going through the tube and entering the bottle. It weights more than the mixture of all gases in air. So the bottle is being filled up with CO2. Is it cold or warm? It's cold. Yeah, it's endothermic. It takes like a minute or two. So now, please put on the cap. So now we have like two planet atmospheres. This one is polluted with CO2 and this one is like the Earth's atmosphere. And now you have to put both of the, thermo of the thermometers uh, in the bottles. So there are little holes in the, on the caps. Okay. And now we just need some uh, source of light. It can be the sun, it can be um, a filament old lamp, or it can even be some heater. Oh. Okay, is the same temperature in both? Mm, yes. 27 degrees. Now let's turn on the lights. Well, temperature is increasing in this one. So now it's 28 in the one with the Martian atmosphere. And now 29. 30, 29. 31, 29. 32, 30. 33, 30. So clearly, this is hitting much more than the other one. And that's greenhouse effect. Roadmap.